from San Francisco, California. This is the Rock and Roll Geek Show. This is the story of my rock and roll butler. <clears throat> Welcome to the Rock and Roll Geek Show. My name's Michael Butler. Thanks a lot for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'm talking quiet because I'm in a tree stand up here in Trinity County. Behind my house is my house butts up against BLM, which is Bureau of Land Management, which is public land, which means it's the woods and you're not allowed to build on it. And there's a trail cam that goes up the side of my of, of my property and up the back to BLM. And I have a tree stand set up here on the on the tra- on the game trail. And uh, I have a a trail cam set up in a tree facing the tr- the tree stand. And uh, I've been showing bucks for a while when I was up here last. And then when I left, uh, about a week after I left, the camera stopped recording anybody or any any movement. And I thought, well, maybe the batteries are dead. And I looked in on the, because I have a little app on my phone, and I looked and it said the batteries are at 50 something percent. So I don't know what was going on. And I'm thinking, well, maybe no animals have come up. So I went up to the, tr- I got the, to the mountain house this morning about, oh, about quarter to 11. And, um, when I went up to the tree, to the trail cam, <clears throat> I checked and I was not getting taking any pictures. So I changed the batteries and reset the camera, and up came all these pictures from the past week. And there has been two or three bucks right underneath this tree stand every day. The last one came was around 8:30 in the morning. Oh, was it 8:30 in the morning? It could have been no 8:30 at night and 11.15 in the morning or something around there, a bunch of, bunch of bucks. So I'm sitting here, it is now 7.06 p.m. I don't have high expectations for this time of day because I haven't seen any bucks coming, but uh, I'm gonna sit here and try. And I'm gonna come back in the morning unless I get lucky tonight. So I'm sitting in the tree stand doing a Rock and Roll Geek Dog Days of Podcasting episode. Day, what is this, day 25. It's six days left. So I will be doing a lot of tree stand episodes. Notes, I call these notes from the tree stand. Hopefully we will uh, we'll get a deer together, friends. It would be nice. I didn't get one last year. I took a shot last year. And I don't know if I told this already, but um, I came out at like 4.35 in the morning and I was half asleep. And I, I have a um, paracord tied to this tree stand and I tied the bow to the tree stand to the paracord and I pulled it up and the the knot came untied and I dropped the bow onto the ground from about I'll see I'm about 20 feet up here maybe 25 so I dropped it from almost all the way up the top of the tree stand and it bent one of the cams and I and a deer came by there were actually a bunch of deer came by and I took a shot and the bow was so messed up from dropping it, I shot about two feet below the deer and lost it. And then right about about 20 minutes after I lost that deer, um, a 300 pound bear came, walked under the tree stand and just sat there under my tree stand for about a good 45 minutes. <laughs> I've probably already told this story, but uh, yeah, that's what happened last year. The year before, I got a deer, first deer of my life. So we're going to give it a try again this year. Deer season started on the 19th for archery in this zone of California, which is the B2 zone. So I'm sitting here, and I need to be quiet. There's nothing around me right now except a bunch of, there's some dragonflies flying around uh, on the tree stand. Also, there were two, or not the tree stand, I, don't, I keep calling the trail cam the tree stand. On the trail cam, I also saw two foxes mating, not actually engaged in the act of sex, but one was courting the other one. You could tell one was bigger and had its tail straight up in the air, and the other one was smaller, so I'm assuming it was a male and female. 
I've never seen two foxes here together. Uh, also on the trail cam, a bunch of jackrabbits and a bunch of deer and a bear. And I just saw bear scat on one of these game trails. Pretty fresh. So if I were able to hunt at night, it would be no problem, but except for finding the deer. But you're only allowed to hunt 30 minutes before sunrise, 30 minutes after sunset, and it's 7.09 p.m. I'm guessing it gets dark about 8 o'clock. So I'm going to sit here till about 8 and then come down from the tree stand. And um, my wife's up here. Brian, my son, is up here, and they'll help me if I do get lucky and get a deer. You can hear rooster crowing in the background. It is so beautiful and peaceful up here in this tree stand. I love it. This is close to heaven for me. Well, that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed the Alice Cooper track by track. Uh, turns out I gave it a score of something like, I forget, what was it, five and a half out of, or six and a half out of 12, and I missed a track. Think, I think Phil Robinson pointed that out to me. And again, I said, math ain't me forte. So uh, thank you for listening to it. And thank you for listening to this one too, friends. It's just me sitting in a tree stand talking. Eh, maybe boring to some people, maybe not to some others. It's not boring to me sitting here and listening to the woods and the sound of silence. Acorns are just popping out on this oak tree that I'm sitting in. And it's very peaceful. It's about maybe 80 degrees out. It's not too bad. I'm sitting here in some blaze orange shorts, camo shirt. I got the bow in my hand. Or I, actually, I got the bow sit, sitting next to me. I got the phone in my hand while I'm recording this podcast. And I'm going to put this thing down and just sit here and meditate in the woods in silence. Thank you for listening, friends. You know what to do. You know how to reach me. I'll tell you again tomorrow. To value for value, please keep the donations coming. Donations, after looking at them yesterday, were way, way down. But, hey, maybe you don't get any value. But if you do, help your friend Michael Butler out. And thank you to the people who are donating. I appreciate it, friends. It's a value for value, and I do this mainly for me, but I do it for you too, friends. I'll talk to you tomorrow. What I'm going to play now, I just came down on my uh, email today. The replacements have a four-CD set coming out of a reissue of Tim uh, called the Let It Bleed edition. Uh, One is uh, remixed, Tim, remixed by Ed Stasium, then the original album, I think, remastered by Ed Stasium, and a live album, or a live show, and um, another bunch of recordings produced by Alex Chilton. What I'm going to play for you now uh, is it's what they're promoting. It's the cello version of Can't Hardly Wait. Can't Hardly Wait came out on Please to Meet Me, but supposedly they were trying to record it during the making of Tim. And uh, according to this press release I have, Paul Westerberg originally wanted the band to play along to an acoustic track he recorded very slowly, and uh, they couldn't hear it in the headphone mix, so they ended up just doing a rock version of it. And he went out into the... um, reception area of wherever they were recording this. I forget what the name of the place was. And there was a receptionist who was a a trained cellist. Is that how you pronounce it? Cellist? She played cello. And he got her to play a cello, the music to Can't Hardly Wait on the cello, and he sang it. And this is that version. I hope you enjoy it. I'll talk to you tomorrow, friends. From Trinity County, California, the beautiful little town of 660 something of Douglas City, California. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll be there in an hour. Take half a month there on foot. Water in a hole, scurvy water tower. Time to let
top all aboard if I could I'll be set in heaven you will find me there yeah. Jesus rise beside me you never It's a rock and roll geek train wreck.